Good morning from Northern Ireland and good evening from New Zealand and thanks for joining us today on LinkedIn Live with me Louise Brogan and my very lovely guest Nikki Osbaldiston who is calling from New Zealand. Nikki welcome to the LinkedIn Live show. Thank you Louise this is great to be here from the other side of the world. I know isn't technology fabulous? Um, that actually immediately makes me want to talk about um, the comment that you sent me um, on my messenger. But before we get there, the reason you're on LinkedIn Live with me today is because you were my guest on the podcast this week um, as for an on-air coaching call. And I was listening to it this morning while I was walking down um, on Belfast Lock Shore. And I thought, oh my goodness, I, I literally gave you the house and the farm and all the land that anybody would ever be, ever be inheriting, inheriting from like, you know, three grandfathers ago. But <laughs> I give you so much information. I thought, how on earth did you actually manage to take any of that in? Um, but I think hopefully you find it really useful. Did you, Nikki? Did you find oh, it useful? Oh, it was fantastic. Thanks. It was really good, really good. Um, I will continue to roll out some of the things you were saying, but no, it was really good to actually hear some ideas, different perspective, and um, yeah, I've, I've started I've halfway through my homework, I think, halfway. Oh, excellent. So let's go back to um, a little bit beforehand. And oh, so we've got a comment already. Yes. Oh, lovely. Surya, I love your work. I've been following you for quite some time. Well, thank you very much, Surya. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Right, Nikki, first of all, number one, you're in New Zealand. So what time is it? Uh -huh. It's 9 it? p.m. at night on Friday night. So we're ahead of you, but we are cruising into the weekend right now. You are cruising into the weekend. I'm surprised. Have you got a glass of wine at your hand? <laughs> Thank you for coming along on your Friday night. That's so kind of you. Um, and anybody watching us from Australia and New Zealand, we want to hear from our Antipodean friends um, because uh, if anyone listens to my podcast, they will know I'm a massive fan of Australia and New Zealand and cannot wait to get back out to both countries, yeah. fingers crossed, in the next couple of years. Who knows? Um, so, Nikki, what is it that you do? What do you do for a living? So I work in marketing communications. So I have two things happening in my life. One is I have a role with um, a global organization, a non nonprofit organization that's based in the US. And um, what happened was I was traveling between the US and New Zealand a bit, and then more recently have stopped traveling and worked fully remote. So what I've been doing is um, just scaling that role down a bit because um, I'm not a great early, early morning person. And while my team is amazing, this is just not sustainable long term. No. So I've been working with some small businesses and helping them with their marketing, communication, just setting them up. Particularly since COVID, people have just really needed to get themselves active and online and mm -hmm. working in a different way. So it's been just a really fun thing to do to just mm -hmm. pass on my business skills and knowledge with people locally. So my business is a sportist in lane. Excellent. And there's a link to that down below. Can I just say that um, it was really interesting. We went on holiday to West Cork um, last week, which is down in the southwest corner of Ireland. And I was in a beautiful um, gift shop called Bantry. Bantry gift shop, Bantry craft shop, maybe. Anyway, it's a beautiful place. And I was chatting to the owner there and she said that in the south of Ireland, the government basically created lots and lots of funding for small mm. businesses like her to get online. And I thought, what? Yes. Absolutely genius. They were all given vouchers to go off and hire other small business owners who were not proper professionals and who understand mm -hmm. websites and digital marketing and stuff. So she says that it really, that it just carried her through the pandemic because she was able yeah. to learn how to sell her products online. And, and it's such a fantastic uh, resource for small businesses because actually, even though a lot of us have, a, you know, a lot of us spend a lot of time on social media, but having your business online and trying to market yeah. your business online is a completely different scenario to chatting with um, your local neighbors and your mums at the school gate on Facebook, isn't it? 
It totally is. And what I've found is you've got some amazing, smart people who are business owners who are simply overwhelmed with trying mm. to get themselves working in their business and also do their marketing and their social media. So I've said to them, you know, you could do this yourself, but mm. you probably want to outsource it to someone else who's got different perspective, just different set of eyes and can just work alongside you. So that's that's the fun thing I love doing is just coming alongside small businesses and helping them thrive. And they probably, I'm sure they love it as well. And they love probably having the fact that you're local to them as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I love the fact I'm local to them as well, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yes. So let's talk about um, moving on nicely to one yeah. of the things we talked about in your on-air coaching call. And if anyone wants to go and check that out, it's on the LinkedIn with Louise podcast. And I actually talked quite a bit about uh, LinkedIn local and I tagged Anna McAfee and from Coffs Harbour who really instigated the entire thing I tagged her under this post if anyone wants to go and check out Anna and all the fabulous things that she's doing but we talked about you connecting with your local network and yeah. we talked about LinkedIn local which there's a link to that below if you want to go and look and see what this is all about but basically it's about meeting your network your LinkedIn network in real life so you had homework Nikki and that was to go and meet your LinkedIn local network. So I want to hear all about it. Tell me about it. What happened? How, first of yeah. all, how easy was it to, to, to find out who they were and how to, to sign up for it? Oh, it was super easy. Thanks to you giving me a hand on that. It was simply the hashtag LinkedIn local and then trying a few of the local areas and finding LinkedIn North Shore and um they were just about to, after a bit of a break, actually have their next event. So yeah. it was really good timing, fantastic timing. Um, interesting thing was the evening itself was a good old Auckland winter weather evening with pouring rain, lots of oh. traffic jams. Had I have not had homework to do, I may have considered just kind of staying home safe and dry that night, but I knew I had to go and it was definitely worth it. They're amazing people, lots of fun. Oh, Sebastian saying hi. Hi, Sebastian. Um, <laughs> anyone who's watching who's been to a LinkedIn local event, and I know quite a lot of my American network have, but they're all asleep, so they're not going to be able to comment. Um, but if you've been to one, we want to hear about it. So that's so funny because we're having a heat wave here, Nikki, and it's to hear about a winter rainy night in New Zealand yeah. is just really funny because that's normal, typical Northern Ireland. <laughs> weather <laughs> and sometimes it is just you think oh I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna stay home and have a cup of tea yeah so, right so how, now tell us about it Dan. what was the format how many people were there did you meet people I want to hear all about it yeah well um hopefully some of these guys um who are on the committee for the LinkedIn local they'll either hear it soon or later on um thanks to them they were super welcoming mm -hmm. um they might have been a little bit surprised to see themselves tagged in a, in a few posts later on and, and with you as well. I'm wondering why I, they were a homework assignment, but maybe this will give them a reason. But uh, the format itself, it was great. And obviously as a first timer, um, I'm not a networker by nature, mm -hmm. but they were very welcoming, um, walked in the door, met a couple of people straight away, uh, who were like instant friends just really good connections with oh, them it was great and the format was really well thought through i've been to a few network events but this was just really well done yeah okay and actually one of the people that you met did she call it steph she's called steph and her and, yes. I, are now, her and I are now connected on linkedin great. because she, did she comment on your post or vice versa i can't remember um, Sebastian hasn't had one for a long time, but Tom Broxham might have organized one. Yes, yeah, Sebastian, so I, um, I went on the podcast, if you listen to the podcast episode, I went to start one in Belfast and it was just a bit, there was a bit of um, disorganization, I suppose, if you like. Um, and I ended up just uh, creating what I call the LinkedIn bre business breakfast instead. And I had run three of them, I think before lockdown and really enjoyed it. And it's, it's nothing like meeting people that you've you've engaged with online and then meeting them in real life. Yeah. So how many people were at your event approximately, do you think, Nikki? 
Yeah, they had a great system. We were in a boathouse, um, the, the boat club right on the water there, mm -hmm. um, right near a, a business area. So I believe they sold tickets and they um, the funding from the tickets went towards a donation towards a charity, which was yeah, a great idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they had, I believe they had 100 tickets sold and mm -hmm. with the weather, they had about 70 people turn up. So. Oh, yeah. that's enormous. Yeah. I that's really, I didn't realize it was going to be that size. That's really interesting because the, the breakfast that I had, we had about 12 to 15 people at. So Seth, I mean, so how did you feel going in? Like, because that's, that's quite a large number of people. Was it a bit scary or was it okay? Um, it was okay. Um, I, I think the committee were there early and they, they really were thinking about inviting people in and welcoming them in. Yeah. There was food, it was drinks and nibbles. There was mm -hmm. just... It was just a really nice atmosphere. They did a really good job of looking out for new people and just connecting. You could see there were a lot of connections from people who have been there several times, which was great to see as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. And do you think you'll go back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I've made connections there. Um, lots of LinkedIn follow-ups afterwards. You know, we were oh. told um, no business card exchanging, no, no selling, which was great really yeah. nice but just yeah. lots of sharing your LinkedIn app with people and just connecting so yes that's, that's the that's the thing I loved about it that's what attracted me to it in the first place was that it's not about going along like some more traditional business networking events everyone is swapping business cards and everyone's saying and you get to a stage where that you meet people and all they're doing is they're there just to say oh this is my service and here's my card and reach out if you need my help and that's not really getting to know anybody, is it? Whereas the LinkedIn local ethos yeah. is more about let's get to actually know people and don't sell. Yeah. And I think, I mean, yeah. that could only come from Aussies or Kiwis, I think, <laughs> or maybe Canadians. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Oh, dear. And I noticed, so when we did our podcast together, I think you had about 140, 150 net people in your network, isn't Would that be yeah, fair? Yeah. <laughs> And I noticed this morning or last night, I can't remember now, you've got about 230-ish. Uh, no, 250-ish. Thank oh, you. <laughs> excellent. So I know. who have you been connecting with? Um, I've had a blast connecting, actually. This is just a really fun exercise to do. Yeah. I've got to admit, I've been super busy and just had a little bit of a slower period. So it's definitely easier to do when you're not so frantic. Yes. Um, but I've had just such a great time just initially connecting with um, just former colleagues and people, particularly those who um, are my colleagues now, but I'm not able to see them face to face and I yeah. hadn't connected with them. So that was really great just to put messages backwards and forwards and then started to focus more on local people. And then I realized, obviously, once you start to connect on uh, local people, you're getting more actual connections with people that you don't know. So it was so much easier to connect with those people having built up you know, seven or eight connections between us. So yeah. I've had some great conversations, just um, messages backwards and forwards. Um, had some people who I didn't expect would connect with me uh -huh. um, who have just kind of sent me connections as well, which has been really fun. Oh, what do you mean? Why did, why did you think that? Be because of... Oh, just people that I hadn't expect. They had just noticed that I was connecting potentially. I don't know how it actually works and just sent me a connection request. Um, yeah, people, prominent people. So that was, that was really fun. I was like, oh, okay, that's fun. Yeah. But, the, but the other thing that I did do was knowing my homework. <laughs> I know, knowing my homework assignment was due, um, I put a request out to my small business group Facebook group and just said, hey, guys, I need you to help me with my homework. Would you mind coming over to LinkedIn and connecting with me on LinkedIn? So I made some connections with those guys as well, which is really fun. Oh, I love this. So the reason that maybe people are connecting with you is have you increased your activity on LinkedIn? Are you posting yes. and are you commenting on things? Um, yes. Yes, I definitely am. Yeah. yeah, good point. Yes. So, I mean, this is the, it's, you know, not to put myself out of a job, but it's not rocket science. Uh, if yeah. you go, I don't mean, I'm not, I'm not saying this to you, Nikki, I'm talking to everybody. No, else. no, no. I can take it, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if you start connecting with people, 
that you're interested in and are interesting, you start commenting on their stuff, your visibility just goes like this. I, I did a yeah. webinar yesterday for women and women and data. It was really funny. We had a conversation about is it women and data or women and data? And I'm like, well, I, I say data, but then I say database, but I say data anyway. Never mind. Um, mm. So I, I did a webinar for the last night. There's about sixty people on there, and that's so I said, you know, just just literally start posting and commenting because so few yeah. people are doing that. And it's a really simple way to raise your visibility. Now, are you sharing content or commenting on stuff that relates to what you're doing in your business, Nikki? I could do better on that. I've started to, but yeah, maybe that again, this is as your connections grow, you see more come into your feed as well. So it becomes a little bit more interesting in what you're seeing. Yes. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you, because so, one of the other things we talked about was for you to focus on your local um, New Zealand network, didn't we? We did, yes, so for sure. Yeah. Are are most of the people you're connecting with inside New Zealand? Um, there is a variety, I guess, because I've still got a role based in the US, but yeah, but probably. I am, yeah. So I live in two worlds, um, but I am trying to focus more on making new connections within New Zealand, not mm -hmm. just favouring my American colleagues, but yeah, this is where my business gets generated from. Yeah. I did I did um send send the podcast episode to my sister in law who lives in Nelson, as do you remember maybe. Um wow. she's not in business. <laughs> you know, she actually she's not on LinkedIn either. Thought <laughs> does she really want to hear this? <laughs> But you never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Oh, dear. It's great. And what's the next steps for you, Nikki, in terms of growing your business? Because, um, you know, how are you? So when, when's, first of all, when's the next LinkedIn local event? Do you know? Um, I don't think they said it for a certain date. So it, obviously I'll see it when it comes up now that I'm tagged in and following the group as well. Oh, uh, what I was going to say, which was really good in the event, they did a great job of, um, their format was new this time around and maybe this is something other groups might like to try as well. Oh, yeah, they, had, yeah, they had three 10-minute uh, speakers talking about their business but also their business struggles and their personal struggles. Okay. Um, particularly recently with COVID and just how they're doing now that they're coming out of COVID. Mm -hmm. And there was just a real theme of, if you're not doing so great, um, reach out, connect with someone, send them a LinkedIn message, meet up for a coffee, mm -hmm. which yeah. was just really great considering the, you know how the world is at the moment. So, yeah. so I, I thought it was a really good emphasis on community in person, but also community and the LinkedIn platform as well. So. Oh, I love that. I mean, to me, it's what LinkedIn is all about. It's about building relationships with people and building networks. Yeah. Um, and it's it's nice that. So when do we when do we record this, Nikki? It must have been about three or four weeks ago. Would it have been? Yeah, about three, three weeks ago, I think. Yeah, just before your holiday. Yes, yeah, just before my holiday. So, and you've probably you've probably connected with about a hundred people or so in those three weeks. Maybe would that be fair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I that is a that's quite a, it's quite a big number. But then you were you you wanted to get to a certain number. You kind of want to get to about 500, I think, yes. um, in yeah. your network. Um, LinkedIn limit you to lim connecting with, uh, you can't connect with more than 100 people in a week. But as you were saying, um, when you're connecting and you're sending messages to people, you don't really want to do that with too many people no. each day because it, otherwise you end up literally spending all your time um, on LinkedIn not actually getting uh, revenue generating work. <laughs> Yeah. So there's definitely yeah. a balance there. So I think you're doing a brilliant job. Um, I wouldn't expect you to, to get to 500 before September, October, um, because I think you want to like really focus on building those relationships with the people that you're connecting with at the minute. And I think that's really nice. Um, yeah. Have you seen, and it's only been three weeks, but have you seen any particular pickup in terms of people inquiring about your work? I'm not sure if I've seen that as such. Mm -hmm. I have seen connect, good connections being made. I mean, this is the other great thing about LinkedIn. If you're a freelancer and a contractor, you're looking for other people to kind of pass on work and yeah. share work with as well. Yeah. So that's been really 
good to see are the connections and just build that as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Steph, who connected with me, and Steph, I'm so sorry, I can't remember your surname. Um, she designs websites for women uh, entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, this is great to have you in my network because actually um, my focus in my business is teaching people how to use LinkedIn. So, yeah. I, but I get asked about other stuff all the time. I get asked, you know, how do you, how do you do this, Louise? How do you, how do you record a webinar? How do you, you know, how did you get your website like that, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, you could spend all day telling people and being nice and kind and telling people how to do all these things, but then you wouldn't actually have a business of your own. So it's really nice to be able to say, well, actually, that's not something I do, but look over here. And um, you've got Nikki, she can help you with your visual branding. She can help you with, you've got Steph over here. If you're a female entrepreneur, she can help you with your website. So I agree with you. It's really nice to, so you don't just connect with people that you think will become your clients. You also mm -hmm. connect with other people who serve the same client type that you serve, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah. Oh, excellent. All right, Nikki. Well, I don't want to keep you too late because it is your Friday night and you're being so kind. If it was the winter, so if it was Friday night in the winter for me in the UK, Graham Norton would be starting in about an hour's time. So it'd be just enough time to go and get my slippers on and pour myself a nice glass of Mar <laughs> Marlborough so uh, the in the evening. What's the weather like today? Oh, it's rainy. It's it's typical Auckland winter. It's it's just yeah, wet squally showers. But I think the sun's coming out tomorrow. So and it's Saturday here. Okay. So it's, it's all good. Saturday. You probably have like an organic farm market to go to or something. It's New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> you got I'm it. So jealous of the New Zealand lifestyle. Can you tell? <laughs> Well, come on down sometime. Come visit oh, your family. Oh, I know. My, I, I so want to see my brother. Um, they they were planning to come home um, this Christmas um, mm. for a big, long trip, but they can't because of all the situation with borders and stuff. Um, oh, we just need to be yeah. back out in the road meeting people, don't we? Right, Nikki, okay. if you want to find you, they can, obviously they can connect with you here, here on LinkedIn. Yeah, please do. Apparently, I need more connections, so I'd love people to connect with me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say any things, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> this is your website. And uh, anyone wants to go and listen to our podcast episode, it's about 40 minutes long. And I was surprised by how much um, how much direction I gave you in terms of all the things to do to <laughs> build your business online. I was like, oh, my God, that's like a fire hose. How did it so I actually I said to you before we went live that I'm going to go back and get the transcription of it mm. and make a blog post about all of it because it's going to be really useful for a lot of um, people who are yeah. in business online. Um, but if you want to go and listen to it while you are walking out tomorrow and Saturday in New Zealand or today and Friday in the UK or or North America, then or I, I have listeners all over the place. I have lovely listeners in. I have a listener in um, Ghana. And I have some listeners in the anyway, people from all over the world. I love people um, tuning in the podcast from all over the world. It's so nice to meet them all. Um, so, yes, there's the podcast. There is Nikki. Nikki, thank you so much um, for joining me today on LinkedIn Live. And I hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you. It's been great, Louise. I love your podcast. I appreciate all the help that you've been giving me as well. Thank you.